Okay, number four in your comp test is always going to be addition of whole numbers and decimals. numbers with decimals. It's going to look like this. You have 34 plus 5 and 6 tenths plus 78 hundredths. So here we go. we got 34. We have 5 and 6 tenths. And we have 0 0.78 or 78 hundredths. What's my biggest number of these three numbers? 34 is my biggest number. And because I'm adding on to 34, will my answer be bigger than 34 or smaller? Bigger. Bigger. So if I end up uh, adding all these together and not getting something bigger than 34, I know I've made a mistake. So what's my rule about adding decimals? Line them up. So if this were like money, $34, how would I write that? $34. 34, and my decimal goes where? At the end. And add two zeros. Okay, sure, let's add two zeros, might as well. And then I have five and six tenths. Line up this. Yes, line up my decimals. And then I have 78 hundredths. I can fill in this empty spot with a zero. And now I'm lined up and ready to go. And I'm adding, don't forget, this is addition. So, zero, zero, and eight. 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 7 and 6, good, 13. 5 and 4 is 9 plus 1 is 10. 3 and 1, bring it down. Okay, some of you will want to say, oh, 2, 4, 6 numbers after my decimal, so let's go ahead and move this over 6 times. But then I would see that I don't have an answer bigger than 34, so hopefully that will clue you in. That all you have to do is, because you've lined it up nice and pretty, is just bring it right down. Another good idea for a question like this is you can round these. I would say I could keep this as 34. I would round that to 6, and I could round that up to 1. That way you get an estimated answer, and you can compare it to the answer that you actually got to see if you're on the right track. Okay? This is like a number 4 on your comp test.